Hey guys, TV here with some more Mother 3. Last episode, we defeated the natural killer cyborg and went down memory lane, which was pretty much the pinnacle of awesome. Anyways, here we are, gonna see what's beyond this door. And apparently we are on the 100th floor, so Porky shouldn't be too far. Okay, up the stairs we go. Whoa, what is this? Whoa. Oh, we can see the top of the mountains. We must be pretty high up. Whoa. The beginning of the end. The end of everything. Oh my god, it's Porky. Let's be friends. I'm Porky. I'm really just this meek little boy. Uh, um, this is scary. Please dote over me more. Please talk to me like good boys and girls. You know, just like me. Um, no. After what you've done to us in Mother 2? No. That's not very nice, now is it? Actually, I'm not very nice either. Whoa! Did you just explode? Oh, robots, of course. Too good to be true. And now we have Porky01 and its cohorts. We have Porky bots here, which we actually saw a bit of foreshadowing in in uh, Chapter Seven at the Chimera Fact or Chimera Lab. So basically, what I'm gonna do is just offense up Omega on everyone. And you know what? Fire Omega, why not? And this song, pretty cool. Gotta love the awesomeness. Oh no, you have PS you have a PSI counter up. Huh. I didn't think about that, because I actually never use PSI against these guys. And okay, he's mechanically playing dead. You know what? Life up alpha. Oh, um, you're exploding. Okay, then, that's bad. And there's more. Yay. Even better. No, no, stop hitting me. Okay, I can sort of combo these guys. I could use Thunder Omega, but I think that's a bit of a waste. I could use PK Ground as well, since that also bypasses counters and shields. But, nah. Okay. And now you're dead. Or scrapped. Using Mother 2 terms here. <laughs> Sweet. And if you notice, other than ramming, these Porky bots actually do some of the things that Porky did in the beginning of Mother 2, such as playing dead, but they do it mechanically. The Porky bots are also posing like Starman, or Starman, <laughs> posers. Oh sweet, these are the last two. So I'm doing pretty good. Not <laughs> 255. Yep, propose a mechanical truce. Yep. You can blow up soon. Yep. Like that. Yay! Okay, that's the last one. Okay. Oh, no, you're supposed to be dead. Like that. Yeah, we win. 
Oh no, what's this? Porky06, join the fight. And he's calling for help. Oh, we have a nice poser there. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna get rid of the robot before anything happens. Because the other enemies... Yeah, the King of Shark and the nice poser. Nah. Oh no, the nice poser confused me. That's bad. Okay then. Kumator is faster than Lucas, so I can just heal Lucas before he does anything bad here. And of course, his explosion doesn't hurt the enemies behind him. No oh no, what are you doing? I'll get rid of the robot first. Wait, no, Kumator, you're supposed to heal Lucas. Like that. No, stop posing like that. No, 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 that's bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I have a secret herb here? I think Boney might have one. Yeah! That's more like it. Oh, buddy. That's bad. Oh, I'm gonna need to heal up Boney. Oh, never mind. Oh, what? No, not more. One after the other. Even more Mecha Porkies join the fight. All of a sudden, some guys rush into the room. It was a DCMC! This is reminiscent of the ru uh, the Runaway 5 from Mother 2, yeah! Bakio jumped out in front. Tondagasa! Dramatic climaxes are when unruly dudes like us get to shine. And he got a smash! Yeah! Seems this master porky guy was trying to use us to brainwash everyone. I say it's high time we screw up his idiotic plans. And Shimmy Smiz attacks. With another smash! This is awesome! Magic jumped out in front! Ha! We ain't gonna let this Porky Freak have his way! And he gets his own smash, and the robots aren't exploding! Nice! OJ jumped out in front! We're gonna make you pay for all the bad stuff you've done! Get ready, it's punishment time! And one more smash! Yeah! Nice! Oh, no level ups. Okay, then. Come, Boney. Oh, whoa, it's Flynn! Lucas, this is it. This is finally it. When did Bo er, when did Flynn get here? Have we managed to corner the enemy? Or have we all been dragged here? West's here, too. That's pretty cool. Hmm, I suppose it doesn't matter either way. Right, Duster? There's Bronson, there's Alec. Lighter and fuel? Wow. And Dr. And the Nuts. <coughs> Come a little closer so I can see your face better. Oh, is that what you look like? I was the one who brought you here. A traveler who has journeyed to and from past and future. I'm the most clever, most charming, and most troublemaking boy ever. Master Porky Minch. Where's that voice coming from? I welcome you once again, you weak hangers-on pretending to be the last survivors of this world. Spankity, spankity, spankity. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa. <coughs> you resorted to blanking your memories to create a new world. 
where humanity's past failures would never be repeated. How stupid can you be? No matter how much you change the rules, no matter how much you refuse to admit defeat, in the end, the creatures known as people will always sign their own death warrant by acting out of stupidity and evil. And then, mankind will be gone for good. You could have been happy if only you would have done as I did and obediently followed the visionary, selfish desires of a great hero. <sighs> Why is it you struggle to cling to life with such puny minds, pitiable bodies, and feeble hearts? Well, no matter. The curtain is about to fall on this pathetic little play of yours, because soon the power of power will be mine. The world and everything in it has been my oyster so far. And now, I'll end it all by acquiring the ultimate power. <laughs> Though everything so far has been fun and games, I've given you many a concession. I was bored out of my mind and wanted to play something more thrilling, you see. But now that we're face to face like this, I won't hold anything back. My slave, my lifeless son will pull the final needle for me. And the moment he does, the dragon should awaken and do as I want. And at which time, I assume you fools will turn into garbage or dust or something and finally disappear for good. <laughs> I'll admit, that is kind of sad. But I would be crushed under the weight of boredom if it were any other way. <sighs> Do you understand now? Do you understand the sadness Master Porky bears now that he's godlike? <laughs> what is this? What's going on? What's this noise? Oh, you love your little dramatic play, so this couldn't have come at a better time for you. It seems the seventh and final needle has just been located deep underground below here. I refuse to help you anymore. Bit late there, Doctor in the Nuts. Wahaha! 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 I assume you want to pull it too, right, Lucas? Why not go and check it out then? I'm even being fair to tell you where it is. That really will make this game all the more fun. But I think I'll use my shortcut to give myself a head start if you don't mind. <laughs> Bring it on, if you can catch up to me that is. Here, you can use this elevator all you want. Spankity, spankity, spankity. <sighs> Whoa, what is this? Oh, what? Oh, this can't be good. This cannot be good. <laughs> 